Well, Hurricane Lee hasn't yet made its way to New England, and we're already seeing the effects at the coast. While the storm isn't making landfall here, it can be seen and felt in our waters. Big waves and dangerous rip currents have resulted in water rescues today, with a few people taken to the hospital. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitt spoke to rescue crews, joins us now live from Narragansett with the latest from officials. Amanda? Yeah, Mike and Shannon, as you heard Tony just say, we're likely to see the impacts of this storm here on the coast and in Narragansett. As you can see behind me, there's some pretty rough surf here right now, and many people today have been rescued from these waters, and it's only expected to get worse, and this storm has not even passed us yet. My suggestion to everybody is to please stay away from the water. Hurricane Lee might still be far away from Rhode Island, but it's already making itself known. Waves estimated to be as big as seven feet, a surfer's delight, but dangerous for the average swimmer. Multiple people have already been rescued from Narragansett Town Beach. A beachgoer captured one of the harrowing rescues, showing firefighters racing in on their jet ski and a lifeguard rushing into the water to help. Two people in total were hospitalized Thursday. And a third victim uh, was taken out of the water with our uh, jet ski that was launched from Monahans. We had two rescue swimmers uh, that were able to get to the victim. After the latest rescue Thursday night, the Narragansett Fire Department's water rescue swimmers were washing off their gear, getting ready for the next one that Captain Peter Taylor says is inevitable. I do expect them to increase. Luckily, they train for this very thing. One officer that drives the rescue to Monahans while our rescue swimmers uh, get dressed in the back of the truck on the way over. I drive this, we dump that in the water at Monahans, and we get rescue swimmers in the water within a couple of minutes. Once geared up. This is uh, a typical uh, gear that a rescue swimmer would wear. And the jet ski is in the water. They can even communicate with crews on land using a waterproof radio and helmet with a microphone. They can communicate with me to tell me uh, they have a victim on board. They've been a game changer for the Narragansett Fire Department. But they still don't like to use these tools and urge people to use caution at the coast always, but especially over the next few days. There's a rip current, and the what the swells are coming in uh, very quickly. Uh, the sets are coming in very hard, very quickly. If you get knocked down, you don't have the time to recover. Now, the lifeguard you saw in that rescue is actually from the Dunes Club, a private beach club here in Narragansett. The public beaches no longer have lifeguards this time of year, so that's an added risk to keep in mind when you're coming out here. As for those people who were taken to the hospital, we're told they are expected to be okay. Live in Narragansett tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.